He goes, hey, it's Matthew. Um, we're going to be doing a quick, fast tutorial on Project Zero, which is commonly called Hello World in the HTML um, coding land. And it's a very, uh, it's, it's a beginning primordial um, practice centered exercise that you can do that will help you to understand how to create an HTML document and understand how you, the structure, the basic structure within that HTML document and how to make a few simple, um, I guess, uh, corrections or edits to the text within that document that you can save and then refresh in your browser and sort of see the changes happening in front of you. Uh, so again, it's it's a very, very basic um, HTML example that is common with any introductory web design course. Uh, that being said, if you were to go to YouTube and type in hello world HTML tutorial, you will definitely get a lot of videos that will walk you through the same steps that I'm going to be uh, attempting to walk you through. So if you feel like you need to watch more videos after you've watched this one, I would suggest that you do that. Um, so the first place that we're gonna start is with um, the file structure. And I'm not talking about HTML file structure, I'm just talking about, uh, you probably have a USB or you have a hard drive where you're keeping or all your course assets organized. And you can kind of see I'm doing something similar. Here are my courses that I'm teaching. And um, I have this archive of assets and you can even see that I have project zero, which is the one that we're working on today. And here's the PDF that I've given you. So I'm just gonna click on that and open it up for us to review. And if you can read all this other business that I've given you on your own time, but what I really wanna emphasize is this simple code that I've given you right here, where it has an opening tag uh, for HTML and it has a closing tag for HTML, okay? And then it has an opening head tag and a closing head tag. And notice how it's indented over to show that it is a child of this parent tag. So this head tag is a child of this parent HTML tag, and it's indented over to show that relationship. Similarly, there's a title tag opening and a title tag closing with some content within, but it, it is indented over as well. And it's, and it's being shown that it is a child of the head tag. So you can kind of see the hierarchy, the generational quote unquote hierarchy that's happening here that we can see visually as we're working on these HTML documents. I can't stress that enough when you're working on your code uh, because um, it's just gonna help you to stay organized. These documents can get extremely compl complicated very, very quickly. And if you don't have this kind of indented structural system showing all these tag relationships, you're gonna get lost in your file very, very quickly and you, you're gonna get frustrated and you might even start using a few bad words and yelling at your computer or doing something crazy. Uh, so just stay calm and remember this is a beginning exercise for you to familiarize yourself with your, what you're gonna be doing um, for the next five weeks with me. Um, so, but this is uh, the code that we're gonna be starting with. So I've got brackets already installed. And, and by the way, before we start, um, talking about the actual exercise that you're going to be doing. I just happened to open brackets and the last uh, HTML file that I was working on is actually sitting here. And um, I just want you to take notice, you know, look at there's an H1 tag, there's an H2 tag, there's a paragraph tag, there are the, there's an A href tag indicating um, some live links that are on this page that I had created, but you can kind of see all this stuff that may look really kind of daunting and unfamiliar and crazy right now. Um, but as you move through this course, you're gonna be able to look at this code and you're gonna be able to sort of understand and see uh, why it's useful. And it's useful because you're a visual artist most likely and uh, 
um, like me, you wanted to have a website where you could put your art online at some point. So you, you know, so you developed an interest and a knowledge of HTML uh, language. Uh, so yeah, we don't need this one today, but we do need a new file. So I'm gonna come over here to new. And I'm gonna save it in my project folder. So I'm gonna go back to courses, um, web design one, project zero. And actually I want it to be index.html. And there's a one already living there, which is fine. We're just gonna overwrite it. So save, it's gonna ask me, yep, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save over that. So look at, we have an index html file uh, these files are are legible or recognized by browsers because they have this tail end dot html um, file name so you got to make sure that your file name is dot html and not like if it's a word document for example it's dot doc but that's not going to be read by a browser it has to be dot html Index means that it's the home page. So a web, a web server always needs to know where to go first. And where do you go first? You go home. That's the home page of a website. And from there, you go to all of these other pages. But index.html always indicates the quote unquote home page. So now we have this blank.index, or excuse me, index.html page. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, uh, notice how this editing software was actually filling in the closing tag for me, which is okay. You know, um, uh, these, these uh, applications are meant to be helpful, uh, but actually coding all of this language is going to help you to learn. So be really careful about the editing application helping too much, because as you're doing this physically or manually, you're gonna be learning the HTML language and how things operate. So again, we're gonna sort of mime or repeat what I had on this PDF that I had, that I had given to you guys. Um, we also need, here's the, we need to create that parent-child relationship. So the next one that I wanna be working on, and notice how this is really interesting. When I hit return, it immediately indents things over for me to show that relationship. Um, so I want to create a head. And again, it's creating the close, the closing tag for me. And I also want to create what a body. And the body portion of the HTML document is where all the, the visible content is going to live. And the head portion of the document is where a majority of the non-visible uh, content will live. For example, like searchable SEO meta tags will go in the head portion of the document. The title of the web page will go into the head of the document. But within the body, all of the visible text and all of the visible visible content will will be rendered on the screen. Um, so again, you can we've created the head. Uh, tags. We've created the body tags. Now we need to create some visible content and some invisible content. So I'm going to start with the title. And again, it's creating that closing for me. I'm not going to move that title to the next line. I'm just going to say, this is the name of my web site, period. I'm going to save it, hit command S and save. You need to save a lot when you're uh, using this application. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an H1 or a header. And it created that closing for me. And I'm just going to say, hello, world. This is my first website. I am so much. dot, 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 command S. Okay, now let's create some P or paragraph text. 
this is what I am doing today. I feel very productive. Okay, now I'm gonna hit Command S. And um, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys. Although I do want to do something. I, I'm going to hit, I'm going to copy. I'm going to delete this text within the body. And, and again, I'm going to hit Command S. I'm going to save it after deleting. But I did copy it so I can put it back. But now I'm going to go back to my finder. I'm going to select my HTML file index.html file that I'm working with. You can see this index.html, index.html. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to open, not with brackets, because that's where I'm editing the code, but I actually want to see what's going on. So I'm going to hit Firefox. And look, this is the document that is being rendered by the web browser, which I'm, and I'm, right now I'm using Firefox. It could be Google Chrome, it could be Safari, God forbid it could be Internet Explorer. It could be any of those web browsers. But the only thing that you can see right now is look, it says, this is the name of my website. If we go back to brackets, this is the name of my website. So you can kind of see, and look, uh, if I want to be more expressive, I can just add some exclamation points and I hit Command S. Then I go back to my browser window and I hit command R for refresh. And look, now I see these exclamation points. So you can see that there's a relationship between the browser and the document that we're working on, right? Okay, so now let's go back to brackets. And now I'm gonna put that text back, H1 for header one and paragraph. And just because I'm being really adventurous today, I'm gonna to create an H3, not an H2. And um, uh, we'll talk in more detail about this later. I like Zoom and YouTube so much. Okay, so now I hit Command S. Now watch this. I'm gonna go back to my browser. It's already loaded. All I have to do is hit Command R because I've hit Command S over here within my document. I come back over here and I hit Command R. And look at this. This is the default size and look of an H1. This is the default size and look of an H3. This is the default size of paragraph text. And that's it. That's pretty much um, this exercise. Now, as far as uploading things to Blackboard, what I would suggest that you do, and by the way, this was not part of the assignment, so I'm gonna move that to trash. I would suggest that you right click and compress or zip and look at that. And then you could even name it, Bollinger Project Zero. And then you can upload this entire zipped file of the folder and everything that's within up to Blackboard very, very easily so that I can review your work. Uh, and it looks like I misspelled that. <laughs> so I'll have to correct that, but yeah. So Bollinger Project Zero so that you can uh, upload your work very, very easily. So that way you don't have to upload one file at a time because your websites are gonna get more complicated as we move through the course again. Um, so uh, if you, again, if you're curious about finding that bracket software, um, so I'll just back up for a second, brackets.io, but I mean, this is a, a new message and they're basically saying, we're not gonna do brackets anymore. So you need to go to GitHub, but they're suggesting that you start using Visual Studio Code. If you click on that, it's gonna take you to this new link where you can download the free um, HTML editing software so that you can complete this assignment. If you need help um, on a on an institutional machine that you've borrowed, that means that you're going to have to put in a help ticket with the IT department. Um, so I'll leave that up to you. Um, but uh, by any means, you need to get HTML uh, editing software loaded on a computer so that you can start doing this work. And let me warn you also, this is a very friendly warning. Do not fall behind in this class. Do your readings, uh, do the quizzes,
do everything that is necessary so that you can gain that knowledge. But really, the, the best way to gain the knowledge is by doing, okay? The, the readings and the quizzes are meant to reinforce the doing. You're not going to learn this by reading it in a book. It's going to be helpful. You're going to learn this by actually doing. And if you wait until the last minute, if you procrastinate, um, let me just warn you, it's going to cause you some frust frustration and stress, and it's not worth it. So stay on top of what you need to be doing for this course, because it's going to move quickly within the next five weeks. And I'll see you at the next tutorial.